right here. Well, good afternoon, everyone, for the New York Lottery. I am Yolanda Vega. Welcome, welcome, one and all, Resorts World Casino. We are here today in Queens, Resorts World Casino, to reveal the largest jackpot winner in New York Lottery history. He won from the October 27, 2018 Powerball drawing $343.8 million. He hails from Manhattan. Please help me welcome and congratulate Robert Bailey. <laughs> now, Robert, tell us, Robert, Robert, tell us, do you always play Powerball and Mega Millions? I play all the uh, New York State Lottery games. You play Take Five, Lotto, you play all the games? Yes, I do. I had to play this morning before I came here. <laughs> he played this month. Those are all your bet slips? Yes, it is. Right. So take us through the day that you actually bought your ticket. Ta take us through that. You told me it was a Saturday? A rainy Saturday. I was in a friend's car. We was going to visit another friend. And I go to different locations. I just ran into that store and played my numbers and ran back in the car and was off. So you just pulled out the bet slip, pulled out your, tell us about the numbers. I don't see QP, no quick picks. Do you always play your own numbers? Yes, I do. This is some of my, this is my first sheet. I have two cards and I play these numbers every, for oh, over 20 years, 25 years, I play these numbers. So you did tell us that about 25 years ago, some family member gave you six lucky numbers. Yes, they did. 8, 12, 13, 19, 27, and they gave me 40, and I had to change that for the Powerball, and I, I picked four. <laughs> so you know these numbers by heart? Yes, I do. So tell us what happened. You bought your ticket. You went home. Did you see the drawing on TV? Oh, no, no. I was watching regular some college football. I usually just, after late at night, between 11.30 and 12, I checked my numbers online. I go to the computer, go to New York Lottery, and check all my numbers. And this particular night when you checked your numbers, what was the first thing that you realized? When I seen the 8 and the 12, I was in shock. Whoa, I looked, and I just kept going across. And uh, I didn't notice the Powerball. I just thought I had five numbers. And sure enough, I was blessed. When I saw the four, I... I I just was in shock. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yes. So, so you realize, as you just said, all those numbers that you know by heart, your winning numbers, you realize that night that you had them, you do know that the jackpot was something like $688 million. Did you wonder what part of that was yours? Yes. Well, I had waited. Well, I stayed up all night and waited to sun Sunday morning, and I wanted to see, you know, how many people won with me. And oh, I noticed I was just two winners. The one in Iowa and myself. And what were you thinking? I was still in shock. I was just happy also. <laughs> what I'm going to do? Uh, so, so did you call someone right away to say, hey, look, I won the Powerball jackpot? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you? Uh, go right to sleep that night? Uh, if you didn't call anybody, tell us what happened. Well, Saturday, like I said, but I watched my football games on Sunday and was in shock and just thought about what I was going to do. Okay, then, okay. Wait. So, 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 you won. Right. You're quiet, you're in shock. You didn't get much sleep. Right, exactly. Okay, you took a while to actually claim, and why was that? I had to see about a lawyer and a financial advisor. Very smart, very smart. Give so, me some advice. Give you some advice for sure. Well, Robert opted to take the cash value on the annuitized prize, earning him a single lump sum payment totaling over $198 million, which means in his bank account after taxes, he is going to see the sum of, are you ready? What is it? Yes. <laughs> it is. $125,396,690. How's that sound to you, Robert? I'm blessed. <laughs> so, so 
what, what are you gonna, how does it feel to win this j historic jackpot amount? I'm still in somewhat of shock, but I'm happy also. And again, I'm, I've just been totally blessed, but I'm happy and uh, I'm ta taking my time to all let right. this all right. let go. It sink in. Yes. So what are your plans for all this money? Oh, uh, get a house, especially for my mother, God bless her. She's still around with a little land around it. I do definitely want to travel a little bit, and hopefully I'll make good investments and that'll work for me for and my family. And what's the first place? I mean, what kind of places are you going to travel to? Well, I haven't been to Las Vegas in a while. I would like to go there and visit Las Vegas. And that's where you're going first? God willing, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> or I might go to the Bahamas where it's, it's almost winter here. I might go to the islands. And, I, and my last question is, are you still going to play these numbers? Oh, most definitely. I showed them already, didn't I? I? Did. I'm going to ride this out. I can't stop now. <laughs> well, guess what, Robert? Yes. Guess what? I got this oversized check here with your name on it and a lot of figures that's going to help you with all those dreams and plans. Congratulations, Robert, on your $343.8 million jackpot. <laughs> All right, well, that will do it for us here at the podium. We're going to move this podium to the side. Robert and I are going to take a couple more photos, and then we'll open it up for one-on-one. -on -one. So on behalf of the New York Lottery, I want to thank Resorts World Casino for hosting us. Thank you guys so much. I am Yolanda Vega. Good luck to you all. Another round of applause for Robert. Photos. All right, now we'll I'm retired from the federal government. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Could you use an extra cousin was the question. I have a big family. No. Well, I believe in God. You know, all the power came from him. But these numbers were chosen from a family member that I asked to give me six numbers. And uh, I picked them out. They gave me two, 8, 12, 19, 27, and uh, 40. So the first five numbers are uh, on the Powerball. So I changed the 40 to a 4. Because Powerball don't have 40. So. Again, I'm blessed. Why not me? You know, I've been, I, I watched her when she first was on Channel 7, Miss Yulanda here. So why not me? You know, I always played, you know, and I don't mind, so, but you have to, sometimes I get a quick pick, but I definitely play my regular numbers. A little something.
from take five. Around 30,000. Yes, take five. Being very humble. Taking one day at a time. And just thank God to wake up the next day. Thank, thanks for my blessings. No, I'm single now. That's been over with, so I'm... But I'm happy. Well, every time I play, I feel I'm going to win. But, but as people here could tell you, you know, as long as you can believe that your number's going to come out. <laughs> yes, I have some children. It's a lot. Hey. He'd rather not say he wants to keep it private. It's all about Robert winning today. Thank you. As you know, I'm happy and I have to come to and show myself here, but I really, if you can help me, respect my anonymity. Because you know how the world has changed now? And people out there are crazy. But, but it's all about your winning this big jackpot, right? Okay, exactly. And making yourself happy. Exactly, okay. that's all. Yes, I have. That, I still want to be me. I can't let money change me, but I want to do the right thing and take care of it for the next generation in my family. You know, that's why one of the things, one of the questions was, that's why I went to a lawyer and a financial advisor first and sat down with them and talked business. Of course, I have a, a few of them, but you know, that'll come down after I sit down with somebody, right? I have a few of them on my mind. But not at this time, like I said, I have to sit down, but that's good luck also to help others and less need, you know, need it in yourself. And I could do that now, but you know. No, that's where the luck was. I was with, in a friend. I go to a lot of stores because I play. And I just want to take care of that because I was visiting somebody. Jumped out the car because it was raining. Ran in there, played my numbers, and ran out. Got a few quick uh, scratch offs, and I was out of there. <laughs> a nice house with maybe some land for my mother. God bless her. Yeah. I haven't decided yet. Maybe New York State or maybe down south. I haven't decided yet. But. I'm the lucky one. But I will watch out for them. I'm going to take care of them. Of course. I was with them. But I'm the lucky one. Oh, nine to ten. For, yes. No. Can't. I haven't decided yet. Just to, How can it choose? My life cannot say, stay the same. My life has changed since I'm on this kind of platform this afternoon, how will my life say this? I'll be on YouTube probably minutes after this. I need a, I need a bodyguard. <laughs> Jets. 
That's my major ticket. I have to play that. Even my money is a little low. I have two and a half Powerball tickets. When my money a little short in my pocket, that's the first ticket that I'm gonna play. This ticket here, I just, on Powerball day, I play this on Saturday and Wednesday. No, I played this with other ticket, with another ticket with some numbers I picked out. These, these are five. These are five individual bets. That's $10 a ticket. So I spent like $20, $22. I guess chaotic or... That's a... Well, I wish I can, but this is part of the state until they change that because, like I said, you know, I wish the best whoever hits, but you, ha you have to watch out for your safety. That's the main thing And any type of money, this, this type of money also. That's, you know, uh, the person in Iowa, I wish her the best. Real quick, uh, I wish her the best, but I'm not that type of person to bring my whole family down here in front of you guys. You know, it's nothing against the press, the media. Your help, I watch y'all every night. <laughs> every night, but some things should be private. You know, you can't let the whole world know. And, and on that note, we'll just have a couple more questions, three more questions, and then we've got to boogie out of here. No, I told you, I live in Manhattan. I'm gonna give back to Manhattan, <laughs> New York. Final question. All right, give it up for Robert. 